Hi, Hazel, and welcome to my channel. Today we are making journaling, altered journaling card, not altered journaling card, is it? Altered index cards. But instead of having them this way around, I'm having them that way around and completely changing everything. Okay, so you can't see the lines, but that was the basis of them. Okay, and I've also showed you what else you can use as well. Okay, instead. So they've all got journaling spots in the back. No lines, 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 and subtle lines there. That's what I made myself. And that's from an actual, um, what do you call them, books, uh, pad with the lines on it. And because I'm using that gradually up. Ooh, there, so there we go. They've got sort of different ideas, different styles in there, which shows you can do what, what on earth you like. You don't have to follow my my style at all. You can do your own style. It's just giving you, hopefully giving you a bit of inspiration about how you go and um there we go so i'm going to say please subscribe to my channel please give me a thumbs up please share my video press notification bell with your crafty fingers and join my facebook group hazy crazy arts at facebook let's see what else i can tell you about it i'm just gonna put my pin on my glue while i'm thinking about it oh yeah we've got printables on there i'm, I'm going to show you on here some of the paper i've got on there because i'm going to put on there hopefully perhaps even in a minute but this paper there now what's that then hmm certain dyed paper i think i might put some no i haven't got any have i i don't know if i've put some uh thingy on there so i'll have to see okay then then let's go and i'll show you how i make these so today i'm going to have a go at i'm going to change some journaling cards already i've got some that's been written on here okay so they'll do my journaling cards are four by six ones now you know like the <laughs> i don't like this much i don't know about you the lines are that way round, and I've got these are double sided. You can't get plain ones in the UK. I don't know about you, but so I want them this way round. I want the lines that way round as well. So I'm going to make a huge journaling card, four by six, and I'm going to put the lines that way round. I haven't got any prototypes because I thought, oh, but I'm oh, excited about making this video. So there I am. Um, so I'm going to do is start making it. First of all, I've got some. Now you can do. I would put either line paper, and I've got this, and I've also got where is it? Or this type of paper, you know, where it's it's already printed for you. I made, I did that myself. I did some lines and then cut, uh, scanned it. <laughs> Done a lot of messing about around the edges, but I only get one edge, don't I? So I'd have to do. I'm doing any more. I'm going to copy. So I've just just my son just came home and he's bought some cakes and I oh salted what are they called um, millionaire. Um, <laughs> Millionaire type cakes. <laughs> oh, yes, please. So what I've done is, because obviously I've been, oh, the family's been hanging about. So I don't know if you saw it. I did put it on video as I was talking to them. Right. So what I did was um, I went around with this brush. Now, I, haven't, I have got a brush, but I do like, it looks a bit circular, doesn't it? <laughs> so I'm trying to get rid of a bit of that. I spritzed it with water because I was watching Louise Heinz, Louisa Heinzel. And um, she spritzed it with um, the uh, walnut stain with water. It looked gorgeous. And it gives a it gives a little. I tell, where's the envelope? Look, this is what I did yesterday. Uh, I think that's walnut stain that one, but I might have had other colours on the brush. That's black. I don't know where the purple's from. And I come up. I might have used. I don't know what other colours I'd used. Um, tea tea stain or something, and another one there as well. You crunching? <laughs> the dog's crunching something. And um, so they made different colours. I don't think the. I don't know whether the yellow was off that or the. Um, another colour, but I loved it. So I thought, mm, I'm going to that. So that's what I've done there. So I don't know whether it looks like it's changed. I don't know which is the edges of. I think I did it on those two. Beautiful. So that's got that around the edge now. And they're very dark. But I might put a black layer actually around the edge now. So another little fast bit for you. Okay, and that's the spinach dyed paper. It's not exactly actually the spinach dyed paper, but it's the, it's the scan of it because I didn't have a strainer. But I do think it made a quite a nice effect. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Right, let's have a look. I'm going to put something like this on the front here. 
Oh, I've got a rubber stamp yesterday, and look, it's full of that. I love wood, I love wood stamps. Uh, wood stamps, I love wood affect anything. I've got some paper somewhere. I was thinking, I've already got that on there, so I don't know whether to turn a bit of that off and put it underneath this. See if it'll work, if I'm going to say. Oh, no, it's horrible. Right, um, I don't know how much we need, a little bit of a circly thing. So I did a bit of a cluster effect. So I've got a book page from the Butterfly book, that's my book. Uh, what book's it from? Hold on a minute. This is from Butterflies and Moths. Sorry, I just switched it off. <laughs> so they're switching it off. And a cat's hair. Right, okay, Butterflies and Moth by Octopus, uh, published by Octopus. It's now an empty shell. I Does that look any good? I think it ought to be darker, really, doesn't it? I wanted to try and get it a bit darker. Because it's a tea, it's on some tea dyed paper. I have got some really dark tea dyed paper. And how you get it dark is leave it in for about three days. <laughs> no, leave it in for as long as you can, really. Yeah, leave it in. Leave the tea dyed uh, tea in as long as you can. Um, don't want to do that. So look a bit. I don't know. And obviously, you want to, I'm going to put a sentiment there. I don't know. Just fancy putting some of this mini. I've got some mini scripts down. I've got some. Um, I know you put it on a thing. I don't wear me me. Um, I don't know. They're in that bar thing. So let's move that out of the way a minute. Obviously, it's just going to be a backgroundy thing. Just gonna put a bit there. I think you've got a, <laughs> the edge of it as well. Mind you, it has got an edge, so it's not me, is it? Oh, I was just gonna look for the thing, wasn't I? Thing to put it down on. Hold on, was I doing it the wrong way? Yeah, wasn't I? Yeah, do it the wrong way. But hey, I'm just gonna put that down. I don't know if it's gonna make any difference because I'm going to. I'm putting that there. No, I'm having that that way round. Thank you. And the wood that way round. Oh, as you supposed to. I like that. And a clustery thing there. What else can I do? Hmm, clustery thing. I don't know if I need to make something else on there as well. Different book page, piece of inside of this. That look a bit black and white, I wouldn't it? It's grey actually. Obviously not going to be that colour. Um, coffee dyed paper. Yep. To all this stuff, I've got loads of it. I made loads of coffee dyed. It's not actually coffee dyed, it's tea dyed. What I do is shove a load of every time you make a cup of tea because we always make it in the pot. We're not to cut, we're not to cook people. <laughs> we make it in the pot, like you stall. <laughs> right, there we go. Um, poshly, no, really. <laughs> that sounds right, really funny. It sounds like a northern posh, poshly, like a spare stall, like that. <laughs> yeah, if you're in the UK, you'll understand that. Um, if anybody's ever watched, um, Last of the summer wine. <laughs> yeah, you'll understand that. Uh, so start where you are. I'm going to use that one because I like it. Oh no, oh, that doesn't work very well, does it? <laughs> right, what I'm going to do then, right, instead of that, uh, yeah, I'm going to do it the other way around. Right, if it doesn't work, don't be afraid. As long as you don't have a direct, you haven't got to put it in a specific spot anywhere. To, oh yeah, yeah, I've got that pretty one. I'll do it on that side. It's got that, um, that I wasn't meant to do that, was I? I was supposed to do it on here. Right, so get you and do it the other way around like this. Mm -hmm, see, it works well. Well, let's see how we, let's see how well it works. It works. Well. Oh, ah, <laughs> it would have worked well if I happened to move it. Let me do it again. Right, right and it's probably I have, I'm not using uh, thingy either, am I? Oh, that's in the wrong place. Hang on. Let's put it on this bit. Right, do not move it this time. Right, what you do is do this, but don't move it. <laughs> like I obviously did. I don't have to do it on a block either. Let's see if that's done it. Start where you are, that's much better. Right, I've got my little, little scissors. Because I was putting out some butterflies last night. In fact, there are 1,300 and something butterflies and moths in that book. Before I forget, one of my regulars is Theola. A lovely to hear from you, Theola. Thanks very much. I love to hear from you. Um, hope I've pronounced your name correctly. I think it's a really pretty name, but I'm hoping I've said it, <laughs> said it in the right way. Right. Uh, so it's lovely to hear from people regularly as well, which they do. I'm wondering what to put on the back of that. Not that I don't think it needs to be regular like that. And also, I've got to, I've got to mention this. This is so I've not, not heard of this before. Wait a minute. I must tell you in a minute. Okay. While I'm trying this, I'm going to start thinking about this. Actually, I don't know whether it look any good. So I'm going to do. While I'm telling you about this, I'm going to have a. I'm just trying to tell you about this. While I'm telling this, I'll just tell you what what uh, 
Patricia had said, which I think is amazing, is um, hospitals and things. Like people, she's talking about uh, people who have cancer and things like that. There's uh, places where you can put presents for them. I don't know about that, whether I, don't, I know about it. I don't know. I haven't looked, actually. But I think it's a good idea because she says that um, things like... Um, you know, if you're knitting them something, that might not be there might have some allergies involved or something like that. And the scented things as well, there could be allergies involved in those. I did actually write myself a little note. I don't like this. Um, and um, I don't know where that, that little note is. Just a minute. Yeah, it was a talk. Yeah, so um, yeah, don't. Um, yeah, so we're thinking junk journals, aren't we? We're thinking things to do with junk journals and paper and things like that. That's they're not alert. Well. As far as we know, they might not be allergic to something like that. So that would be a tremendous, wouldn't it? And imagine making something like that for somebody and, and uh, put them in a sealed bag, she says, um, e.g. glassine or vellum, and make a little journal. You can also make things from the Dollar Tree or we, we say pound shops um, and, you know, a little booklet and jazz it up a bit and put that in a bag for somebody and then explain what it is and um, what perhaps or even what you do and everything and also no religious ref references as well because then anybody can take part can't they it's not as if it's you've got to be all inclusive which i love i love being inclusive um so there's just um people are include every person's included in that if that's any good or not <laughs> or i think it needs something it needs something else like another cluster we're gonna have two clusters on there i don't know Hmm, well that needs to be smaller. There's something about it, isn't there? Anything else I can tell you about it? Yeah, I think that's basically what I've just said. So, oh, that'd be great, wouldn't it? Something like that. Something like that. Yeah. Start where you are. See, I've got that in that corner. And I've got that in this corner. And there you've got your negative space. So that's great, isn't it? You need a bit of negative space. Right. That needs something else, I think. I'm just going to try and put a few leaves behind it. I don't know. Forest moss. It's very... Um, I might have already got forest moss on there. Ooh. I don't know. I think I'm going to put it all over. <laughs> there we go. Oh, yeah. I think it needed something else. It's a very... Um, let's try and put that under there. This is supposed to be more than one thing I'm supposed to be making, but there we go. I'm going to show you a quick other idea. I'm going to put some more more leaves around the leaves, <laughs> not leaves, leaves. There we go. Let's see if that would work. Would work. <laughs> some areas. I love the name, the words that come up. What's the other one the other day? Would work and something else. Oh, worm <laughs> hangover. Yeah. So you've got a bit of a hang. You know, when you hang something over, you've got a hangover. Now it's woodwork. There we go. Um, Stop where you are. I want to hang that off. Yeah, hang. I want to ha have a bit of a hangover look there. <laughs> there we go. Um, I don't know. Stop where you are. No, I've got to have that straight. It's because it's cut straight, I think. That's why. That's why I've got to have that straight. But it doesn't matter about that. Let's do it. Come on, let's do this. I don't know. Come on, we'll do this and we'll... We've done. We're fast. We're satisfied. Let's get this on. So it's sort of in the middle, wasn't it? We had it in the middle, in the middle-ish. Is that right? And we're going to put our cut out. Look, it's a cut out butterfly from my book. Yeah. There we go. On it. Oh, yeah. Oh, like that. Like that lot. We were like it hang it, habit of, having a bit of a hangover. <laughs> there we go. Hangover. Okay. Let's put this. Oh, I'll do it onto this. Lot. I think I've done that wrong, haven't I? Because I should have put that under there. Um, should I? Should I? Yeah, a bit of a hangover there. Or we can obviously tear a bit off. Hang on. Oh no, <laughs> come on. I could have had it that side, couldn't I? Decorated that, never mind. I could have had that. That would be nice because we've been using that lately, haven't we? And people be saying to me, yes, you should. <laughs> oh yeah. There we go. That can go there. And that can go there. We'll have that. 
Oh, that looks a bit, I think that's swallowed up a bit by that, isn't it? Hmm, hope it's okay. I do like it though. I, we, I do like subtle things sometimes. Perhaps you won't notice the butterfly at first, then you'll notice it. I think that's that's quite a good idea. Then on this side, you are, there we go. You've got that pretty journaling spot. Now, I was going to do, let's see, a, wait a minute. My idea was to make a tab, so I'm going to make it using this. Two of these. Oh, there's one. So where's the other one? So two hearts. Oh, actually, hearts would look nice on there, wouldn't they? <laughs> Not too bad. But well, I'm going to put them there as the finishing touch. Glue. I glue both sides. Actually, I've got to do at least one side of this. One full side. Make sure it's all glued. And then. It's going to be a little tab. You can do tabs with anything, can't you? I love making tabs. I've got a little tiny, see my little tab punch that's tiny, isn't it? And I've showed it in other videos. And the people's asking me what, uh, where I've got it from. So, there we go. I think that's too low. It's got to be straight. I think it's got to be straight. Well, for me, it's got to be straight. It doesn't matter. But there we go. How about that? Really cute, you can also round the corners if you like, but I'm not going to round the corners now. Okay, because it's already done. I have a go at another one. Don't forget, you don't have to use journal in, uh, index card. You could use file folder, cereal box, uh, book page. Yes, yeah? so you can use that as a base if you've got a book page that's uh, quite sturdy. Uh, glue a load of book pages together if they're really thin, but that's uh, perhaps a bit laborious. I'm going to do another one, I think. I don't know why, but I'm going to do another one. Okay, so I've cut a piece of card. Now, that's smaller. If you wanted a smaller one, obviously index cards are different sizes. So I've made that into an index card size of three, part, three by five inches. And I'm thinking about rounding the corners. I'm going to do a medium round. I don't know why I'm doing it now, though, because I've cut it to, <laughs> to everything, haven't I? Never mind. Sometimes they, it can be a bit... Temperamental if it's got more than one to round, right? So shall we use? Let's use a bit. Of, I'm going to use this to cover it. I want some lines on it. The thing is with these, though. I mean, with these, it's not. They're not um, straight, are they? Uh, my, um, they're not intended to be straight either. They're just sort of drawn quickly. Um, I did it with a turquoisey pen. Ooh. Right there we go. Uh, this one, yep. Put this one this way round. Let's get some glue. My desk is so small it's getting crowded. <laughs> right, okay. I wish I had a nice long, I mind if I had a longer desk, perhaps it would even more, be even more messy. Because I'd probably not tidy it up as much. <laughs> you have to tidy it up. <laughs> you have to tidy up a small desk, don't you? Eventually, anyway. Because if you don't, I mean, I have to do it every day. Finish crafting, go out, leave it, and then next day, oh, it's still there. Oh dear, nobody's tidied it up for me. Got no little fairies. <laughs> Got no little fairies to tidy it up. Oh dear. There we go. Have you got any fairies who tidy yours up? I don't know. Uh, oh, I was reminded me of that story the shoemaker and the elves. You've heard of that story. Where the little uh, elves make the shoes for a man who's really kind to them. No, I think, I don't know if, they, I don't know if he is. I'll just, but he is in the end. He makes them some clothes. I've got my eye on this, I don't know, I absolutely love this, this is one of my gel presses, just normal uh, green and brown I think it was, and I've got bluish in there, I just want to put that on there, <laughs> it's going to make it a bit dark though, isn't it? Still, I'm going to do it, let's do it, just do it, as I say. What's that going to look like? Ooh. Got glue on it. Let me get the glue cloth. It's kind of why I've got glue on it now. It's because of the paper I'm using underneath. So I'm using paper. Getting glue. 
I do like that though, it's really pretty that is, I like <laughs> rather clutter. Right, okay, there won't be any glue on my table, so I'm going to put Oh, do you know what that's jumped out at me? Some stickery things, yeah. So you can glue anything you like on it. So you don't have to glue pretty papers or anything like that. Like me, I mean, this is great, but it's got printing lines on it. It always has that. that oh, I'm not sure if it always has that. Oh yeah, I like this. I'm gonna put some black around there. More black. Oh yeah. I don't know what I'm gonna put on it now. <laughs> oh, I've got some white butterflies. I wonder if they'd be okay. Wait a minute. Yeah, I'm thinking about this one. I was thinking about this butterfly I cut out last night. I can see it's not cut out very well. <laughs> I'm going to put some... I don't know. I know my eyesight isn't brilliant, but I can see this morning. <laughs> I, was cutting, I know I was cutting it out in yellow light, but I don't know if that's the reason. You notice this when you get old. Because you you, when you're little, you can see. Or younger, you can see things in the dark. Oh, I know that's a so-and-so. When now, I can't see whether it's a so-and-so or a... Or a Thing me what dig what's it you know <laughs> so I can't tell what things are let's put my stuff away and put it on my shelf in other words my my sewing machine's my shelf <laughs> I just put it on there for when I'm not using it I suppose you could put even put sewing machines around these as well sewing machine actual so no actual sewing I mean not sewing machines right there we go and I've got that well that would actually go with that wouldn't it this is uh the high ha avocado dyed paper no in that bit plain, a bit plain, right? Let's put that that way around. Just gonna see if that's right. Yeah, yeah. It does look a bit plain, doesn't it? I want some pattern under it. Hmm. Yeah, a bit of pattern. Let's put a bit of pattern. I'm gonna put get a bit of a um, patterny thing. Let's have a look. Ooh. Got this handy, handy, handy brush. I'm just saying, where did I put the brushes? And the dog got excited because when I give, when I, he loves having a brush. Love being brushy, does don't you? Yeah, he got excited and looked at Nanny, didn't you? Oh, do you think that's enough? That's good enough. Oh, I don't know. Oh, do you think that? Let's have a look with my little butterfly, big fat butterfly. It's huge, isn't it? Oh, I think that looks better, but I think it looks too dark now. Let's have a look. That's something like that. Let's have a go. <laughs> That's going to need a pattern on it, isn't it? <laughs> right, let's have a look. I'm doing exactly the same thing. I should be doing different. Okay, is that going to be really horrible? Mm. That looks a mess, doesn't it? Mind you, I think sometimes when you do things, you think, oh, that's not very good. And when you come back to it, you think, oh... Oh, I didn't know it was as good as that. <laughs> I mean, that doesn't look very brilliant to me, but I, I do love that, though. I think that's made it, really. But, oh, that looks very subtle. Oh, and I've got a white line there. Hmm. I wonder whether to make... Perhaps I could draw white lines all around. Because <laughs> I can't do anything about that. Never mind. Right, let's have a look now. I could have put that under there, then that. And then that. No. No, that's got to be on top. No, 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 that's got to be on top, that's upside down, let's have it that way around. From there. Ooh. That's better-ish, isn't it? Better-ish. On the similar paper. I don't know what I'm doing yet, so don't worry. <laughs> there you go, do what you can. Oh no, don't move it around. Again, the same as before. Look, I've put it on the front of <laughs> one of those. <laughs> They're useful, actually, for that. Do what you can. There we go. Scissors. Oh, I need now a handy dandy pair of scissors. Just got to look for them. Right, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to get some black. Put around it. Yeah. Do what you can. Try and join that in. Look that word. Do what you can. I'm going to put something. Hmm, something below this, I think. I think we need some dark below there. That's dark, isn't it? I don't want to use a bit of that because that's better now that happened. It's very dark. It's not a, it's not a burn. It's a, it's somehow I didn't do I didn't do them in the oven. It died naturally. Died. <laughs> it died. <laughs> no, it was it got died naturally. Right. Hmm. 
Let's do what you can. Why am I doing it like that? I could have done it the other way, couldn't I? Never mind. Right, and what I haven't done is ink this up. I'm going to ink it up because this needs to pop. So I'm going to put it on there. That way around. That's going to be there ish, isn't it? That's going to be there. That's going to be there. So, well, oh no, we're not going to have that straight. And we're going to have the butterfly there. Yay! How about that, yours? Yeah, there we go. I'm going to do it with this instead because I've got them little ant antlers. Antlers, we've got some antlers. Got it's a new word, antlers. Antenna idea. Move that. Now, what was this like? Was it down? It was down here somewhere. One time I had it last. That's quite a big reach. I, want to be, I don't want to be, it's got to be a bit odd. Not even, I can't have it even. Right, let's get this. There we go, two sizes. Right then, let's have a look at that one. Yay! So I've got I'm gonna put a tab on that as well. So what short tab short? What sort of tab shall we have? <laughs> what sort of tab shall we have? Um right. cherry blossom tab. I made it out of paper. Let's see if we can do it. Because paper, double paper surely would make it almost a card. Oh, you need to glue the bottom down, Ty. Okay, I only need to glue the bottom because it's already got some glue at the top. There we go. I think it's even. I don't think it's got a way round. There we go, so we've got another journaling card out of. Yep, so that's the ideas anyway. Let's have a look. I don't know if I can do another one. Very nice. Use your menu of cutout butterflies. <laughs> there we go. Do what you can, start where you are. I like both of those. Um, yeah, that's coming up. That's a lot. Yeah, it has. It's come up that sort of bluish. That's um, around the edge, hasn't it? Oh no, so, yeah, I did do that, didn't I? I did both. Oh, look at this. This, is, this isn't good. Let's get some. Yeah, I think that sometimes that glue will often need. That's why you probably need a bit of a stitch around it, really. So if you do sewing, it'll look nice. Mm. Yeah. I don't have to get rid of that white. Right. It's not glued properly. Yeah, that's another thing. If you can't get rid of your white, just check it's glued properly. <laughs> if you want to get rid of your white, that is. Or you can sew it, obviously. I think that would definitely get rid of the white, wouldn't it? Let's see. Any more? No, I'm saying. See, it's hardly any there now I've done that. Yeah, so there we go. Right, and I don't know whether to do, yeah, let's do, let's do another one on a journaling card. This one, no, not that one. We could use that. I think we could use coffee dyed, tea dyed paper as the background, can't you, instead of lines? And it doesn't really matter which way you do it, does it? Yeah, let's get that glue cloth. That might be a good way of spreading it as well. Glue cloth. Oh, I've just seen some stickers. I wonder whether to do a washi tape background. I don't know. The washi tape's going to be back quick and so back quick. <laughs> Quite big. Let me get some. 
This time around the corners. Right, so now we're going to cover this side and you can do what you like, do what you like. Let's have a look. I was thinking washi tape, but then I was looking at the... Oh, oh there is. I got that yesterday, so I was thinking about putting that on, but then it's like girl green ones. Well, I got this yesterday. It's only a pound, not from a pound shop, but from, <laughs> from the range. Got some really pretty superb papers in there. I know it's sort of like cutting up and you, and, and you can use scraps but I'm going to make these into scraps by using them <laughs> how many would you need six I think <laughs> oh no room, on my, no room on my shelf right I'm going to put some Oh no, there's my little thing that's in. Right. So inches. I'm gonna take inches off from the oh, look at that. Right, that's not very good, is it? Start with. Oh no, it's still not done it. <laughs> A bit more. It's taken not very good. Not good. Right. Okay, so let's do it this way around. I'm going to have two and a half centimetres. Okay, so I did some off camera there, I didn't mean to. <laughs> it's because I was having a drink and my drink's cold. Right, so let's have these. Yeah, so we could start at the end, couldn't we? Right, that's I don't know which one to use glue wise. What I was trying to do is, apart from that bit, glue it on that side, and it's because you have to keep moving your book. <laughs> right, so that hasn't come quite as I hoped, because I just realised that, of course, inches slightly um, more than. Sorry, I'm not talking to you, dog. <laughs> uh, inches slightly more than. Um, <laughs> slightly more, slightly less than. than no, it's like, oh, I don't know. 2.5 centimeters is slightly less than an inch yes that's right so that's why it's come up like that so i've cut that off that extra bit doesn't really matter does it of course i didn't quite cut it right at the top right let's have a look uh, yeah that's, that's not too bad that's it let's see if i can hmm. we're still doing it Yay. Right, so what do we do now then? You can leave it like that, why not? It's very pretty. Or you can put something on it. And I'm going to have a look, see what we've got left. Ooh, dears, look, look what I've done. Right, okay, I haven't done this yet. But I'm going to have a look, see what I can do. Right, you can do that. Oh, I've got another idea, even more subtle. Cutting butterflies out of <laughs> this and putting different shapes here. I don't know if that would work. Woodwork, there's another woodwork. Would work and hang over, <laughs> hang, hanging over each line. <laughs> there we go. Right, um, just an American accent. Just an American accent off camera there. 
Where the fly punch? Where are you? <laughs> there you go. That's what I said. There we go. Put things like that. Yay. I don't know. Ooh. I like that. I might save my butterflies for another project. Project. <laughs> I might save my butterflies for another project. Know what project is? It's a new word for project. Project. Mm. Oh gosh. I'm just taking that in there instead of this. Oh, I don't know. I quite like that. That gives a bit of it because you can make a pattern. You don't have to make um, a picture, do you? Like a. How about something like that? Do you like that, or do you like? I think you look like I call these, don't you? Well, that doesn't really go with it, actually. So I think it looks great. If you want, I think if you want to put things like that on, I don't know. <laughs> I could do one of each. <laughs> yeah, I've got plenty of paper left, haven't I? I've got another idea. Oh my gosh, I've got another idea. Right, I'm going to do those, and I've got another idea. Oh gosh, I've got another idea for the for, for using these. I don't know whether I, I might show you later. Okay, right, so those, these, and uh, do a fairly good one. What's a cabbage white? So put the cabbage white in the middle. Because that's a bit more patterned, isn't it? Yeah, that way, and then I'm going to ink around the edges. Ink around the edges, why not? I've got a brilliant idea. Oh, thanks for coming to me now. Right, so I cut the antenna off there, so I'm going to have to just draw that back on. I need a subtle pen. I think that is that's a gold one. So I'd just grab anything really and just <laughs> it's gold would work, work wouldn't it? That'd show up on there hopefully. It does now anyway. There we go. I've got a gold feeler. Oh antenna if you like it's slightly at a different slightly at a different level so there we go I've done that. Right okay so quickly 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 not slowly quickly Right, where are we? Things, things, items, what's name? Oh, put that away, put that away. Okay, so quickly, quickly, quickly. Okay, so I've got an idea for a sentiment. You've got to have a sentiment, haven't you? This one I'll do, this one of the little things in life. Oh, I didn't realise I was still recording. <laughs> right. Oh, I thought I'd stopped. Right, okay. Oh. <laughs> right, so we have to do that in the right place. Properly. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Let's get that in there. I don't know if it's going to look like. Sure. Oh, that looks cute. I think that looks fine because it's got that backgroundy thing underneath already. So no need to do a background. There we go. We can have it there. All right. So now I'm going to try the other thing. I don't going to say it's going to be any good, but I'm going to try it. Ooh, we've still got a bit of white there, haven't we? Right, there we go. That one very neat, very tidy, very beautiful. Oh, do I switch it off now? Right, hopefully, I'll be able to talk to you. My husband's on the phone to his brother, <laughs> it's a bit loud, he's ever so loud. Right, so there we go. So, um, that's uh, that was number which one was number one? That one, wasn't it? The big one, the big one was number one. You start where you are with the butterfly, the subtle butterfly there, and this one was number two. Three by three by that's six by four. I don't know if I said five by four, but six by four. Three, five by three one. It's not. It's not a um, index card. That's a piece of file folder. I've got another piece of file folder there, but I'll show you that in a minute. This is the third one. I don't think it's grungy enough for me. I think it looks too 
um i don't know bright so i'm going but well, i think it looks really nice i wonder whether i should have put a bit more stuff around there or something anyway that, i like the back how nice that back looks so you've got that it's got a bit of grunginess around the edges i don't know what to put, put a little bit of grunginess around there especially that's not cut very <laughs> see that oh no that's not that one that's not cut well it's the other one wasn't it right i didn't do that one. right and there's the one i was gonna that's one i thought of because i've got some wrapping paper let me show you all bought some really cheap wrapping paper yesterday and i'd like it because it's on the brown and i thought oh i could put butterflies on that and make it pretty and that's my idea is you can see them i put believe in yourself and also that so there we go that's the whole lot right then so let's finish now so please subscribe to my channel please give me a thumbs up you share my video press the notification bell with your crafty fingers and join my facebook group hazy crazy arts we've got on there spinach paper yeah well we are yeah actually <laughs> i put it up yeah but there's your spinach paper that we showed you in the first one um right okay and um we've got printables up there we've got uh how many have we got about 30 it'd be more than 30 if i put that up won't it i'm gonna put this one up because i like that one the best and it's ever so easy ever so you know easy to do so wasn't much to me right okay so i will say goodbye now and hope you enjoyed these and hope you have a go yourself at something like this got the idea of pamela 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 the paper outpost because she was decorating but i thought this way round would be better it'd be better for me i think it'd be be better okay unless you're going to post it in that way which is quite good actually but i think this way round when you're putting them in a pocket don't you okay then there we go so I'll say goodbye and everyone take care and thank you for watching. Goodbye.